Evening folks, as you can see I've acquired an SP7 uh, today but apparently the only gas fired one ever made as you can see I've just started running it, it is fitted with a boiler top up valve which is apparently something that may be filtering down to or at least fitted on some of the models in the near future uh, some of them I've never had on uh, <laughs> anything to be honest um, Perhaps uh, a usable feature, especially if you're doing exhibitions and stuff, keep them going without stopping. Uh, personally, if, when I've done exhibitions oh, 20 odd years ago now, it's a case of um, then it was run a train, while well, that's running, you was running, say, a steamroller, and then you'd top and run a traction engine and then keep moving them around. But anyway, the facility's there. Uh, 4 mil diameter recess in the top. And you lot probably probably know anyway, uh, just use a garden sprayer, which can be sourced on the web uh, quite cheaply. Um, relatively small frame, it's fitted with a 40 psi uh, safety valve, but you can have a standard 20 valve if you wish. And uh, well, this is the first few minutes of running. Displacement lubricator fitted. Uh, nothing much to tell. Slip eccentric, of course. One way or the other. Rotate the wheel far well one way or the other, and it'll reverse or forward depending on how you look at it. Obviously, twin sleeve valves, one for each cylinder. And uh, I think this is the first few minutes of running. Let's have a look at the flame. Look, we've got a fairly small flame there. Oh, I bet it's not half inch, I'm going to turn it up a fraction. Try not to stop it with my hands. <laughs> just, just up a little bit now. And uh, we'll see. See how slow we can get it over. early days yet but I think I prefer the wheel to the lever on the SP8 not really makes any difference both do the same job both is controllable I should keep going at that speed this is the very first run so obviously some running in to take place I've given her a bit of a polish I say her really because he's got a got a boy's name because my greasy paw print everywhere earlier on he was a good look over uh, but as it's a SP7 GF I've shortened it to Jeff so Jeff the steam engine might not go much slower than that but that's not bad I'm not going to do a full blown video if, there is, if I in my own uh, shall we say amateurish way because there's already a couple of uh, videos on the forum I think uh, definitely one anyway of oh, the SP7 but uh, very nice runner there's no exhaust via the chimney. Uh, but that's, uh, that's about it really. So I'll, uh, I'll leave it to run a bit. Leave the video on for you. And I'll have a play around with the, the speeds. Let's see how we get on.
that's wide open, I'll just crack it off the fraction. I'm going to turn the valve up a bit on the gas. I've turned it out. <laughs> Find the lighter somewhere. There we There we are. I don't know a word at the factory about the uh, cleaning of the lemon, we're using lemon juice inside the border and what have you. Um, a weak mixture, so I've dropped me 50 50 to roughly 25 75. I've done this and there was absolutely nothing inside. Um, but it uh, does seem to work. Um, I was intending on doing a video on one of my traction engines, got a really bad sight glass but it's just gone too far for it to make a much of an impression. It did improve a little bit and to be honest I, I even tried just the lemon juice to clean it and warm as well but uh, anyway we'll get this going again shortly it seems we're nearly ready. Um, I was actually in the factory and they was putting this one together. I got there a little bit earlier uh, than I said and they were still putting it together and um, on the air test, um, I think it run on, I think it was 3 psi if I remember correctly. Um, so, not a bad runner by the looks of things. But I have found with the gas, you really have to experiment with the height of the flame. Apologise for that interruption folks, that's some pleb trying to sell me some rubbish. Oh.
could do with that engine in my old series 2 Land Rover. <laughs> That is by some margin one of the most powerful moments I've ever had the pleasure of seeing or indeed running for, I should think. I'm thinking pithead gear out of Meccano and using this to power the lift. <laughs> 